Hello Exiles, and here I am again. While you are looking at this satisfying walking simulator, uh, let's at first speak about downsides. There are two of them. It's a bit clunky when we need to make the first uh, attack, because here in the footage I'm using Slayer, and we have uh, the attack rate less even than one attack per second, and that's the point when we are really weak and we can be just shredded shotgun by some maybe uh, eater of world mobs or other things or uh, maybe while we are trying to make this first hit um, <laughs> some phoenix will cyclone through us and uh, shred us but uh, in other cases we are just running and shredding the packs of mobs and we have a huge amount of single target damage to deal uh, possibly with any content uh, because we are hitting many times and uh, here you see the two downsides in action the long time attack speed and the duration and uh, this is caused by that we are playing Slayer and the Berserker version solves all these downsides. Here you can see how ridiculous the damage is. We just hit once and the whole health bar melts down. And here on Shaper we just hit three times and for these three attacks we make the whole face the 50% of his health pool. Just use Berserker and uh, you'll be fine. Here the attack time in action where uh, not enough time just kills us. I was trying it with Slayer, but I think the best uh, option will be uh, the Berserker. I'll leave some Slayer um, POBs, but uh, I recommend you to follow the Berserker version. We have uh, around 19 million single target DPS and it's just static strike because we have the fixed um, beams per second. We don't um, consider melee hits uh, as our single target damage as we have around <laughs> 7 million uh, hit. Um, it's not the generic uh, type of damage and we always hit only with beams but even with beams with our hit rate of uh, around five hits uh, per second uh, we deal a um, huge amount of damage um, i tried to utilize dialys malefaction uh, because we have 30 percent quality of uh, gems in green socket and we use static strike in green socket uh, with getting the beam frequency more and more with staking our um, quality. Uh, we can also use Ashes of the Stars, but it's still very expensive and uh, um, there is no reason to do that um, because we'll get some more damage, but the increase of it doesn't worth of uh, investing so much. Um, so as a path of building cannot uh, calculate the damage here on Dialys Malefaction I have the simulation of what's going on so when we uh, when we map we don't need to even walk right we still have so much damage that all our uh, beams and um, uh, the chaining effect shreds the pack uh, so the only thing while mapping that you need is static strike duration or maybe some uh, duration on the tree or uh, on your gear but um, here when we go to the boss we need to walk right when we walk right we have 50% more attack damage uh, because we are berserker uh, we utilize rage to have a good attack rate uh, not to be so clunky when we are slayer um, and after we walk right and got the 50% buff uh, we also have a 100% ch chance to deal double damage for all our beams uh, after uh, using the um, static strike because uh, all the beams are considered as only one hit and uh, uh, that's why we always deal double damage with them enemies are intimidated and uh, we have 50% more damage from Berserker and also uh, when you 
each of your th three uh, hits with Static Strike will deal 148% more melee damage. Um, that's why we are interested in hitting twice and then walk right once and just uh, hit the boss and we'll melt them. Um, of course, if you do not want to uh, count hits on uh, uh, boss fights, just swap Ruthless for anything you want. Uh, and uh, because we have our Ruthless in green socket uh, and it's Divergent Ruthless, uh, we have uh, 148 more damage more melee damage so we put static strike in green socket ruthless in green socket for quality physical to lightning is better for green socket 2 uh, and three red sockets for awakened melee fees awakened lightning pen and awakened elemental damage with attacks you can also use enhance and if you do not want to use ruthless I think the better way for you is to use enhance and then uh, you have much more uh, hit rate and the damage will be approximately not the same but but it will be better uh, from the point of view that it will be stable and you won't need to count any hits that you try to hit the boss uh, assassin's mark with mark on hit Herald of Purity, Determination, Purity of Elements, Enlightened, Precision, Vitality, all of our errors are defensive, mostly defensive, or maybe just Herald of Purity or Precision uh, give us some uh, damage. Sometimes you can even press Berserk for more beam damage, but I don't require to do this uh, because uh, there will be a problem of gaining rage. We still benefit from rage. Uh, right of Ruin uh, for can be stunned, some attack speed not to be that clunky as you see in the footage um, the aspect of Carnage for more damage and we just run around and it's the um, Herald of Thunder uh, playstyle uh, for the tree it's even jewel-less <laughs> we don't use uh, any cluster jewels uh, we get uh, melee crit Chance, melee crit multiplier, uh, some walk right nodes, uh, mace nodes with uh, elemental damage, uh, physics extra lightning, pen penetration, life, life region, basic concepts with some um, life, or, sorry, mana reservation nodes and anointing charisma uh, for fitting all our auras that we have uh, in our or mace or body armor for the weapon we use Marohi RK because it's the most powerful uh, physical damage weapon that exists now uh, we also can have corruption for some base attack speed abyssus but it's not mandatory if we drop abyssus we still have too much damage and you can get everything uh, other stats uh, just to fit what you need, maybe res, some stats, or the enchantment that you want. I managed to get the abyss with uh, static strike duration, so I used it. Um, and uh, other stuff is uh, purely for fitting all the requirements for attack speed accuracy rating. It's very important to have accuracy because Marohiaki has base minus 500 accuracy. That's why we need to fix that. Uh, life, life regeneration, chaos, resistance, uh, dropping brittle ground uh, as a Syrian exoc um, implicit is great because it boosts our crit chance, um, some penetration enchantment, just global crit stats minus to minor cost uh, on our amulet length. Uh, Lance Roar, Wise Oak, Diamond Flask, Basil Flask, uh, the fifth flask will be life in some of other interpretations of the build. I have uh, the variant with Ashes of Stars, it has uh, the same hit rate because we don't use Dale's Malefaction and uh, here uh, we use Marohi Erke with Fortify uh, Corruption, mm, possibly uh, the same amount of damage. I recommend mm, Berserker more. Uh, because uh, the base attack rate 
is uh, really nuts. Uh, we don't want to uh, make him that that powerful swing of our mace to to do that first hit and the duration duration is is uh, a key here we don't we don't want to um, hit very frequently with our main attack i hope you enjoyed it like subscribe leave your comments in the commentary section and see you next time goodbye